goodness, a pinch yourself moment. Did you ever think you would hear this song and Fedor Emelianenko making the walk to the octagon and finally happens to you? I mean, everything about this man is iconic. From the song, the walk, the facial expression, he's so stoic. Do you know that Fedor Emelianenko is all business when he steps inside the octagon? His list of opponents, the guys that he has beaten over the course of his career, is unmatched by many. That is why still today, Fedor is considered one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. And perhaps most special is to hear guys like you, right, his contemporaries, talk about Fedor Emelianenko's greatness, chasing further accolades here in the Octagon tonight. Official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. choose to proceed. I know DC, you think he's going to wrestle, he's going to grapple. He figures to have a decided submission advantage tonight if he can get that part of his game going. Fedor's got power, man. He talked about wanting a knockout this week. And sometimes when fighters talk about pursuing style points, they end up being the ones twitching on the canvas. I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that Fedor Emelianenko's hands will be heard from tonight. Keep your hands on him. Keep him gets the early takedown. That did not take long. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Emelianenko. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to the to try to choke him up and finish the fight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. Wow, that is great submission defense. Nice play. Back and forth we go. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, Superman punch. Nice jab by Fatal. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Emelianenko. Two minutes now to go. Takedown defense is there. Big elbow there, Lance. Look at how he drives the knees. 
right into his opponent's midsection. That shot blocked by Emilianenko. Clipped him with the right hand there. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. He takes a hook like that. You are on wobbly legs. Oh! Oh, you see his high-level footwork here. Maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell. John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side. His big power side. Oh! Wobbly legs now. Whoa. And this is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with dead ending intentions. Oh, uppercut. Big right hand. Round two coming up next. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And of course, the seminal moment that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go back out into the next round. And just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Ready. Second round underway. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in that fight. All right, so an opportunity goes by the Bulls. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. Now we've got to be dealing with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Fedor Emelianenko gets caught by that straight punch there. Beautiful. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. So we hit the three-minute mark here in the second round. Whiffs on the right hand. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Oh, this is like he's tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut ring. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, so Emilianenko's in half guard now. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. 90 seconds to go now. Big ground and pound. Oh, big shots from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands. Doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, nice move. Big, big shots landed by him now. Final seconds here of round two. Fables right back to the full mount. Round three next. 
right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Third round under that. Oh, got it. Huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end. This is where it All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Billion Inc. goes back in half guard. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Emilian Enko's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've gotta be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, so Emilianenko's now trying for the Kimura. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This is he landed it perfectly. Perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment. In Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? That one landed clean. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's... Oh, he's got to too. Back to the feet. What a fight. Oh. 30 seconds to go. Right back. High-level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop him. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Gotta be careful here. Oh and that'll God. do it. 15 minutes in the books. Stop. Well, what a great round it was there. Concussive blows potentially on both sides. Both fighters got knocked down, and both will live to fight on. Both of these fighters have dealt with adversities. Both of them understand that going into this next round, something has to change. I can dole it out, I can take it, but I don't want to be on the receiving end of any of those big strikes, especially the ones that put them down. Schedule for five, five minutes. Big shot on the feet. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 
Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Both fighters exhausted here. Just over three minutes to go now. Thunderous leg kick grounds his opponent. Left it a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh my goodness! Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 25 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Silky. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, also, most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.